Philip Ben Luther is one of the most well-respected leadership authorities in America today. A former Fortune 500 manager, Phil learned most of his initiatives in the trenches. Since 1988, he has shared his practical message of personal leadership enhancement and service professionalism with more than 2,800 audiences in 48 of the 50 United States, as well as Canada, Mexico, Europe, Central America, and even New Zealand. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome today's guest speaker, Mr. Phil Ben Luther.
more out this day or any less out this day than I did most of the days that I went to work. I had already kissed my wife goodbye. I had already patted and kissed and hugged on my little three-year-old son, Joe, my little one-year-old daughter, Sarah. And as I exited the door, there was no way, absolutely no way, that I would know or could have known that on this particular day, I'm going to learn more about communication than I could have ever hoped to teach or to share with any audience that I would have spoken to. As I walked out the door that day, I pulled the door behind me, and just as the door closed, I heard it. It. Now, for those of you who are parents in this room, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. For those of you who have not yet had that experience or have never been in that parental role, you may have a little bit of a difficulty. But for the parents in this room, it was that blood-curdling scream that I heard from one of my children inside the house. I did not know which one of the children. But I heard it, and I knew immediately what it meant. Now, I have three children now, at the time only two, and all of them are loud children. I think they take it after their mother. <laughs> but the reality of it is, I've heard them scream, I've heard them holler, I've heard them be loud in many different ways, but when you hear that particular scream, there is no question what it, what it means. It means that one of them is what? Hurt. Absolutely right. Now, again, I didn't know which one. And I didn't know what the hurt was caused by. All I knew was that one of my children was hurt, and that meant I had to spring into action because I'm a loving, caring, compassionate parent, just like any of you would be. And as I rushed back into the house, I remember specifically, as soon as I entered the living room, I saw my youngest, my daughter Sarah, my one-year-old, playing contentedly in the floor, just like she had been just a few minutes earlier. Nothing wrong there. Process of elimination says if it's not Sarah, then it must be Joe. But where is he? He was certainly nowhere to be found. So as I continued to run, I moved through the living room. I went into the dining room. About that time, I was joined by my wife, who was in the back part of the house. She had heard it, too. She knew what it meant. And she was running down the hallway. And together, we joined. We didn't stop to talk to one another. We knew that the, there is a problem had been communicated. And so together we ran through the dining room, took a hard right turn into the kitchen, and there we saw Joe, our three-year-old son, Joe, picking himself up off the floor. And as I looked at him, it was obvious he was hurt. Blood was streaming from his chin. His front, t front of his T-shirt was covered. His arms and hands where he was holding his chin were covered in blood. Now, of course, we immediately started tending to his needs. We took his little T-shirt off. We, we got a wet compress, and we put it on that chin, immediately started to apply pressure. But during the process, of course, we started trying to talk to Joe. Now, he was having trouble talking to us because he was, he was tearful, and he was crying, and he was scared. But between sobs and between gasps for breath, we learned little different bits and pieces of the story. I fall, Daddy, he said. What did you fall from, Joe? Joe, I, I fall from cabinets. And I got to looking, and there in the kitchen, he had pulled out all the drawers in the cabinets <laughs> and had climbed them like a ladder up onto the shelf the cat of the, in, the, in the kitchen. And then apparently reached to retrieve something off of the wall, lost his balance that he should not have had, I might add, lost his balance and fell chin first into a concrete tile floor. The result is what I refer to as a gaffer, meaning something that a band-aid is not going to be. 